I'm going to show you first how to calibrate the spirometer. This is something you should do every single day if you have testing. Um, you're going to go into the Midmark software. I'm going to select a patient, any patient. I hit new test and I just hit OK. That's it. This message always pops up every 24 hours. It's automatic. It says, it's been 24 hours since you've calibrated. Would you like to calibrate now? Say yes. Okay. The first time you open up your calibration page, you're going to have to enter some information. The serial number that's on the syringe and the serial number on the spirometer and a couple other pieces of information. For the first time you do the calibration, just see the biomarker manual. And then after that, this is how you're going to do it because all your data will populate automatically. All I have to do is just hit new calibration. And then when I'm ready to start the calibration, I hit start calibration. A couple tools you're going to need. And this all comes with uh, the Midmark software and the spirometry package. The first thing is this, it's called an adapter. Okay, you have your hand, your, your hand piece, which is part of, you're going to use for the test as well, but you're going to need this for the calibration. You're also going to need a mouthpiece, okay? This is what the mouthpieces look like that you're going to use with your patients, but I suggest that you open a mouthpiece and keep it open for calibration only. In fact, it's a good idea to even write the permanent marker on their calibration mouthpiece, just so that you don't accidentally throw it away thinking it's a patient's. The other thing that you notice here is this big calibration syringe. This is what's actually we're going to use to perform the test. It's um, basically it's what the idea of it is, is to, it's supposed to mimic the lungs. We're ready to get our calibration started. I, the first step is to get your, get your supplies together. Second step is to pull out this black syringe from, from the whole uh, calibration syringe. Okay, so now it's full of air. You're going to put the mouthpiece in the actual spirometer, okay? So it has these two front prongs and this one back prong by itself. You're going to stick these two prongs right in those two holes right there. Okay? And you're going to just place it in there and shut this. Your adapter actually might look a little bit different uh, based on the kind of syringe you get, but it's essentially the same idea. There's going to be an end that's a little bit bigger that's going to attach to the actual calibration syringe. So it's going to go on like this. Okay, and then you're going to keep this end open, which is where you're going to put the mouthpiece, and you're going to you're going to stick the mouthpiece right in here, which is this is going to kind of act as your mouth. I want you to notice everything's a nice tight seal. This should be in a nice straight line so that this isn't like falling out or being bent so that air can escape. So once you're ready, this is going to just involve a little bit of hand-eye coordination. So all you do is you go over to the computer and you're going to hit the button new calibration, and then it's you're going to hit start calibration. So you're going to hold the, the mouthpiece um, like this with the, with the syringe, and you're going to put your hand on this black syringe here, and you're going to push. You're going to be the green, and you're going to follow the speed of the blue arrow. So we're going to do it three or four times, and you're going to just follow the speed, and you're going to just keep doing it. It's going to ask you to do it. You're going to pump. Slowly pump. You don't want to push it too hard and you'll get real comfortable with how fast to push it. And then as soon as you've done four of those, another screen's gonna pop up and it's gonna tell you if you passed or failed. And I'm looking at the screen and it says we passed this calibration. So we're done, that's it. You put all this away and you're ready to do tests for the rest of the day.